thought he heard faint sounds coming from the other side of the door. He pressed his ear against the cold metal to hear better. On the offset, Beacon Pines may look like a cozy indie, but don't let those adorable animals fool you. This game has a mischievous backstory that may lead you down a dark and unexpected journey. It's the beginning of summer break, and though Luca was looking forward to a carefree vacation, both he and his best friend Rolo find themselves in the middle of a secret mystery. While investigating the strange occurrences that only the two of you seem to notice, you'll meet an interesting cast of characters that play their own part in this story filled with binge intrigue. Beacon Pines is a single-player interactive narrative story that focuses on a choices matter scenario, meaning you have the ability to change everything from dialogue, the way the characters interact with you, to the ultimate outcome. Having had the chance to play this game during its early conception gave me the opportunity to understand the fundamentals of Beacon Pines. Since the demo, there have been some significant changes, including some dialogue and graphical updates. Controlling Beacon Pines is easy. You can either use keyboard and mouse or a controller, which makes for both smooth and fluid gameplay on either device. There's free movement to move around and explore the town outside of its set objectives. However, the collection of charms you'll find hidden throughout the game are important to the story itself. Charms are found blossoming on sections of a giant oak tree referred to as the Chronicle. By using certain charms at different turning points, your story quite literally branches out during specific sections of each chapter. The tone of Beacon Pines can shift from emotionally overwhelming to exceptionally frightening depending on which path you take and which charm you choose. I especially love the playful way Luca and Rolo interacted with one another. Throughout the game, you really develop a sense for how close they are. As you explore the town of Beacon Pines, you'll meet a cast of colorful characters each with a backstory of their own. One such character is Beck, a feisty feline who has her own part to play in this epic adventure. If you stick to only the objectives and are an avid reader, gameplay could range from four to five hours without any major sidetracking. That said, there is some replayability after completion with trying to collect any charms you may have missed. The 3D hand-drawn art is very expressive and beautifully detailed. With a top-down isometric view in the environment, you can easily see where Luca needs to go, and with a pep to his step in order to complete his objectives noted on slip of paper that are crossed off when they've been completed. With no specific difficulty settings to choose from or to mess with, aside from volume and screen resolution, you can casually play this as is. The dialogue sticks to pretty basic text conversations. The narrator is the only one with any speaking part, voiced by Kirsten Miz, who you may recognize if you've ever played Larger Than Light. The soundtrack is overall pretty solid, with melancholic tones during poignant scenes, and overall, I'd have to say I absolutely recommend this cute and creepy adventure, so much so that I will be rewarding it my very first Golden Genie Lamp of Approval. Hiding Spot has done a fantastic job designing immersive features combined with a visual novel-like aesthetic. If you enjoy visual novels where your choices truly matter, you'll be completely immersed from beginning to end in Beacon Pines. The heavy steel door knocked Luca to the ground. 